look today on the auto deploy script developed by Javier from Lab to Hub Munich in München and this script is a terminal based tool to install images for cloning for the Labdo project. You start it by uh, double click and first step is to select the target disk where you st want to store the image to and wi where you have to remove data from. Typically it's SDA, the main, the first main drive. Next step is to select the disk drive where you take the source, the images from. Please don't mix it up because it might come up with a problem for you. Uh, if you remove the disk with the image then you have to download it again. SDB. So it's just showing you the result. Uh, SDB as source disk and SDA to be deleted. You might enter here Control C or if you press enter it will continue. It will show you the images found and um, next step is to select the languages EN for English, DE for German, ES for Spanish, FR for French. We want an English installation and it will show you in the next step which images fit to your computer. I have set up here a 32-bit virtual machine um, so it is only showing me those images working or running on a 32-bit CPU. If you have a 64-bit computer of course you can also install 64-bit images but uh, in this case we pre-selected 32. Um, it is showing me two images the basic one number zero and a bigger one with pre-installed English content which might fit on an 80 gigabyte disk. I select zero. Um, next step is optional. Uh, as you know we tag each donated laptop in our online database and you will get a number like 15,000, 500, 20,000 and so on. If you did not tag your laptop so far you might change this host name later on. It's just an option. I press enter because I did not take my laptop so far. Um, next step is to shred, to remove all data. This is very very important um, because LabDo promises each donor that we take care of his laptop and his personal data. We remove it by writing three time random data to each disk drive and now it is asking you because sometimes there are um, good reasons like um, we get donations by certified companies which removed all data from a disk drive then we don't have to do it a second time. In this case I'm um, also passing this step because otherwise this video might last one or two hours more. Um, here we can define what to do after the installation process. For instance, if you do this job overnight, um, you can shut down the system to save energy if you want. This is as well optional. Do nothing in my case. And now it is starting the installation process. There is um, an information to the Linux kernel that uh, the system will change and then it takes about three, four minutes in this example to install the image but it might last up to 30, 60 minutes or even two hours. It depends on the size of the image and your hardware if you do it on from a uh, server, network server or if you install it from an external disk drive. I will be back to you in a few minutes to go through the final steps. So back again, the installation is more or less, less finished, few seconds to go and after 
restoring the image to this laptop there will be a check of the file system if any mistakes can be corrected automatically and then this process of cloning came to an end. The partitions will be adapted to the size of the local disk. The file system is checked That's it. Now just press enter to finish this program. If you want, this is just optional. You can open Gparted and have a look on the disk drive. Uh, it should look like this. Um, the complete drive, disk drive is used. Here you can see the space occupied by the program and data of the cloned image. And now you can shut down the system and enjoy the educational solution of labdo.org and bring it to a school or to children. Thank you.